Welcome to another quick video for our AI animation channel. I'm just going to share a way you can use a superb AI powered tool to improve your runway ML video exports, Topaz Video AI. It enables you to upscale the footage, increase frame rates, slow down playback to increase the length of clips, increase the quality or the fidelity, and reduce that jitter or shudder of footage. You can have it enhance faces, reduce noise, or just increase details overall. This will work regardless of which generator you're using from Runway ML to create your video or animation clips. It also helps with footage from other video generation tools like Kyber, Zeroscope, or Pika Labs. You get the idea. To do this, I'm going to be using the paid tool Topaz Video AI, which whilst not exactly cheap, its full price is normally $299. However, unlike a lot of other AI tools and services, you only pay the once, you install the software and you run it on your computer locally. So there's no need to keep buying credits to use the AI. So for video professionals, it could be a worthwhile investment. Of course, having a relatively decent computer setup does help speed things up. For reference, I'm running it here using an M1 Max chip on a MacBook Pro. I'll include a link to the software below, which may or may not be an affiliate link, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna very quickly take you through the process to make one of these clips and then show how you can use Topaz Video AI to improve it, upscale it, um, and remove some of that shudder. Here we go. First, we need to create our image that we're gonna send into Runway ML. And you could use a real life photo, illustration, um, but we're gonna use an AI tool in the form of Midjourney to create that image. We're here in Discord, having a chat with a Midjourney bot. And this is a paid account. I think I pay 10 pounds a month or $10 a month. Press forward slash, press enter, paste. And our prompt is a moody old smuggler with big eyes staring into the camera standing to the side of frame in a dark dystopian futuristic corridor looking out of a window at space. 70s sci-fi, muted colour palette, dynamic lighting, cinematic realism, bokeh, Kodak, and then dash dash AR 16x9, which tells Midjourney that we want a 16x9 image. Press enter. Whilst it generates that image, if you are interested in videos like this, um, where we talk about AI animation tools and how you can combine them with more traditional digital animation techniques, please press subscribe. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, and it's finished generating those images for us. We've got these four images that are all pretty cool. I like this one up here with the red lighting. Let's just see how that turns out. So we're gonna press upscale number two, web, and then download our image. Then over in Runway ML, once logged in, we're gonna be using the Gen 2 image to video generator. We're then gonna add our image and then we're not gonna add any text prompt at all, and we're just gonna press generate. If you're feeling generous, you can press generate a few more times, then you can compare the results and choose the best one. Okay, that's finished there, so we can quickly press play. It's some nice motion, it's actually talking as well, which is quite cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that clip. Okay, and then here in Topaz Video AI, when you first open it up, you get this prompt. We can drag our footage in, and we get to the main UI. You can add in extra clips here and then with your clip selected and then go up to your settings here. I actually forgot to press upscale inside of Runway ML. Normally these clips would come in at 1792 by 1024 where Runway would do some of its own upscaling first, but we're gonna use this clip anyway and we're gonna go ahead with the output. We're gonna upscale to 4K. We're gonna turn on stabilization and tick reduce jittery motions. And then down in enhancement, which is on by default if you're upscaling your image, we're gonna change the AI model to Iris Face Enhance. And you could try out the different settings and try out different ones depending on the scene you've got and check different results. And then press Export. And that's it, we have our updated image on the right. I think it is slightly clearer, a little bit less shudder to the image. Um, and it only took one minute, 51 seconds to complete that as well. So that brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you haven't already, please press subscribe, leave comments below, press like and all that stuff. All right, have a nice day. Cheers.